Hey, um, I promised I would do this, so, uh, here it is. Uh, this is, uh, how I cook kale. It's one of my favorite ways to eat it. I saute it, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. So, um, I took a bunch of kale, uh, and I used half of it, so roughly about that much, okay? And uh, so it's half of a bunch. And what I do is I just uh, lay it down on a chopping board. Sorry, I'm just putting it back in the fridge here. <laughs> All right. So I lay it down on a chopping board and I chop it up. And uh, again, I just uh, rinse the leaves off really good and then uh, just grab the leaves, scrunch them all together, and then just chop across. Chop across all the way down, boom, boom, boom. I even use the stems. And then from there, um, I take, uh, in this case, I'm using grapeseed oil. Um, I'll use anything uh, that has what's called a high um, smoke point. So grapeseed, uh, canola, anything like that, but don't use olive oil because it'll like smoke and uh, smoke you out. Other thing is garlic. And I use a couple cloves of garlic. I chop those up into fairly big chunks. Okay. And the last thing is the liquid that you're going to cook for the second half of this and um, I use uh, this is actually the juice <laughs> when I steamed some broccoli earlier so um, there's uh, it calls for about half a cup so I'll measure that out from here I always keep some handy just cuz you know I never know when I'm gonna crave kale I know sounds weird so um, I use a fairly big pot And in the bottom, because um, I'm only using half a bunch of kale, I put uh, a tablespoon and a half. That's the big spoon from your measuring spoons. I use a tablespoon and a half of the grapeseed oil is in there. I'm going to heat it up. Uh, now, I use gas, but I heat it up uh, at about medium high. So, medium high, and um, that'll get it going. Okay, and then once the oil's heated up, I put the garlic in, and uh, things get exciting. All right. Woo, bright light behind me. It's uh, just supernova. All right. So, garlic goes in. And what you want to do is you want to um, just cook the garlic until it goes a little bit um, transparent. Now, it'll take a little while for the oil to heat up, but you might as well do it while this is happening. Just put the garlic in, you'll see it'll start to bubble and stuff, and it'll smell real good. So, um, I would say maybe a minute or so, not much longer for the garlic. You do not want it to start turning brown, okay? Um, that'll happen naturally when you're cooking the rest of it, so. Garlic, just keep it moving around, keep it coated in the oil. Fairly basic stuff, right? Okay. The garlic is just about ready, so I'm gonna grab the kale. Now, um, I need two hands for this because it's a shitload. <laughs> well, half a shitload. Anyway, um, so. Aha! Kale. So, kale goes into the pot. Now, what you want to do with the kale, because it's uh, crunchy, a bit like. Um, Cabbage, right? It's relative cabbage, broccoli, kale. What you want to do is you want to coat the kale in the oil in the bottom of the pan. And you also want to just stir it around. And you'll see it'll start to um, wilt, turn like a slightly darker, like a wet green look to it. So you want to go and just start it cooking like this in the oil. And roughly, when it looks like this, see it's kind of like a nice sort of wet green. When it's like that throughout, what you can do, sorry that's for my salmon. <laughs> what you can do is you can turn down the heat to about medium 
and you're going to add the liquid. Okay, now the liquid, uh, about half a cup. So, it'll start to boil like that. Great stuff. Then, cover it. Yeah, really, cover it. And give it, what, not five hours, five minutes. Five minutes of cooking time covered. Okay, uh, once it's cooked like that for about five minutes, take the cover off and cook it another five minutes until the juice um, is gone so it's a little drier. And then once that's all done, take some balsamic vinegar, all right, and just pour it over the kale. Pour it to taste. Um, some people like a lot, some people don't. It sort of makes it taste a little sweeter than your original sort of sour kale taste I think you were complaining about. And that pretty much is sautéed kale. Ten minutes, uh, a few minutes prep time, and it tastes pretty good. Well, at least I like it. Take care.